It has it hasn't stopped. You know, this is and this is and you know, I know and we'll get to exactly I mean, even the plague, all these things, but these things have not stopped. That was one you know, the harbingers have not stopped. Um I'll I'll mention I'll I'll give a a, a, a quick note on uh just two of, of some of these things that have continued since since people read the harbinger. Um, you know, one of them is that in the in in the days of a, when a nation is heading to judgment, and you look at ancient Israel. Is uh, you have you have Im- you have false gods in that nation, and oh when my. it when you know we have driven God out of out of our oh culture. My. Well, it, there's no vacuum. Whether we have a vacuum, other things come in, and we so we will not admit it, but we serve other gods. And the thing is that and that in the last days of Israel, the the images of the gods become prominent, and you know he the the Lord takes the prophet Ezekiel in, into the temple. Uh, courts and says, look, what are you seeing? He says, I saw the image, and it was an image of this false god. I saw the image, and the Lord said that now, now judgment is coming. Well, well, one of the signs is the image of a false god, and the thing is now, now could that happen in America? Because we would not admit to it. Well, the amazing thing is that um, since the harbinger came out, in uh, the an image of a false god, it had to be the largest image of a false god on planet Earth appears on American soil, and it appears in New York City, the, the city of the Harbingers, oh. and it appears on the Empire State Building. They actually light up the Empire State Building to resemble a god, a foreign god, which is the god Kali. Now, now the thing is that, that oh Kali is the god of darkness, and so they actually they use light to produce the, the, the image of the, the god of darkness. The Bible says, woe to those who set light for darkness and call evil good. Well, that's America. But on that day, on that that day, uh, Philip, uh, when they when America put up this gigantic colossal image of the god, actually turned the Empire State Building into a false god and idol. On that day, it was the Sabbath, so the the Jewish people are opening up the scrolls and they're reading, they're reciting the appointed scripture. What was the appointed scripture? The appointed yeah. scripture was where God warns Israel, says, "Do not make an image." of a god be and it says this is going to lead to judgment and on that day we put up that image and kali is the god also of death and destruction now looming over new york city which is actually going to even link up to where we are now as you you alluded to um but i'm going to mention just one more and then we'll get uh, we'll be right where we are right now and and the one other one is i mean there's so many i'm just ta- using this as a sure. uh, to get a little idea or taste for those who haven't read the harbinger 2 but in that in that's that point about what has happened since in the harbinger 2 there is a day on the hebrew calendar that is is called the ninth of tammuz the ninth of tammuz is a day that that where the walls of jerusalem were breached you can find it in jeremiah you can find it find it in other places in the bible and that's when Nebuchadnezzar breaches the wall. Once you breach, the, he was the defensive wall, the protective wall, the outside, out, outer walls. Once they did that, uh, uh, Israel knew judgment was sealed, was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, um, America, there is a, you know, America, uh, you know, since the harbinger came out, has, as we said, has been racing away from God. One of the ways is called is one of the ways of doing that is defying God's ways. One, of course, um, is involves the killing of children, which we'll get to. The other involves all calling, you know, actually taking the ways of God and inverting them. Well, in, uh, wow. America struck down uh, the the vessel of God, which is marriage as a man and woman, and it happened. The Supreme Court did it on June twenty sixth in two thousand fifteen major major thing and now marriage is a hedge that actually protects a civilization well we struck it down but on the biblical calendar that took place on the 9th of tammuz the day that the wall the protective walls are oh struck down <laughs> the hedge oh removed on that day oh is when God. we removed the hedge 